Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to control an LED with your phone using the HC05 Bluetooth module for Arduino. This will be a detailed step by step tutorial where I'll show you how to build the circuit, code your own app from scratch using the MIT App Inventor and finally write the Arduino code that receives and interprets the commands sent from the app. These are our main components for this project, an Arduino Uno board, a light emitting diode, a breadboard, some wires and the HC05 Bluetooth module. This is a very popular module where you can add two-way wireless functionality to your projects. You can use it to communicate between two microcontrollers like Arduino or with any device with Bluetooth functionality like a phone or a laptop. The main pins to focus on today are these four. The VCC, the ground, the transmitter and the receiver. The other two are the enable pin that enables the AT command mode and the state pin connected with this tiny LED to check if the Bluetooth is working properly. Connecting the Bluetooth module is straightforward. The HC05 VCC pin will be connected with the Arduino 5V pin. The ground will be connected to the Arduino ground pin. The TX will be connected to the RX and the RX will be connected to the TX. This seems counterintuitive at first. But when you think about it, the transmitter needs to be connected to a receiver and vice versa. So this formation makes total sense. It's the LED turn now, so let's connect the cathode or the negative lead with the Arduino ground pin and the anode or the positive lead with the digital pin number 9. The reason we choose this pin is that it's a PWM pin which means it allows us to smoothly dim and brighten the LED instead of just turning it on and off. We now have a Bluetooth server, but we still need a client to use this server. The client in our case is the smartphone, but to make use of it, we will need to build an app. The easiest way I know to create apps is the MIT App Inventor website. In here, you can build your app using Scratch, saving yourself hours of coding. In addition to this, another impressive feature of this method is that it allows you to connect your phone to the App Inventor and see the result in your phone screen in real time. This is optional of course and you can skip this part, but I think it's helpful to see your app in your actual device while you're working on it. So if you want to do this, download the App Inventor companion and open it. And then choose the connect using the AI companion in the website. Finally, scan the QR code shown in the screen and you are able now to change anything in this page and see it changing in real time on your phone screen. So let's start designing our app. On the far left, you have the user interface components. First of all, we need a label. So grab it and release it into the screen. In the right, you have the properties of the selected component. So modify them as you please. Make sure to align the text to the center of the screen because it looks better this way. The next component is the list picker. When you click on this button, you should see a list of activated Bluetooth devices near you. Assign the width to be fill parent in order to fill the entire width of your phone and name it connect to Bluetooth server. Next, we will create a button for turning the LED on and off. So in the layout tab, grab the horizontal arrangement, which will help you to modify the position of the button. As for the button itself, you can design it as you wish, but we'll keep it simple for the purposes of this project. Set the height of the horizontal arrangement to be 20% of the screen and then align the button to be in the center. Now you can set the dimensions of the button and its shape. Finally, we need a slider to easily and smoothly change the brightness of the LED. So as we did for the button, grab a horizontal arrangement and place the slider inside. After choosing the right dimensions and centering the slider, set its range from 0 to 255.
this app will use Bluetooth wireless communication. So we will add to it the Bluetooth client component. Once you add it, you can see it down here in the non-visible components. The final step in the design is adding the clock and setting its time interval. The smaller this number is, the smoother the slider will work in changing the LED brightness. So let's set this to 20 milliseconds instead of 1000. The app looks good now, but all we did so far is designing its look. We have to code the logic behind this graphical interface, which will allow us to use these components in controlling the LED. First thing first, let's initialize some global variables. The on flag for indicating the LED state, true for on, and false for off. Let's start with the turned off at first. The connection flag for indicating the Bluetooth connection state. And finally, the intensity variable that holds the LED light intensity value initialized to zero. Before we start using the app, you need to connect the HC05 module first. And this will be done using the list picker, so we'll create these two blocks before picking and after picking. Before picking the device, the available devices will be shown in the list picker by setting its elements to the Bluetooth client addresses and names. After picking a certain device, the Bluetooth client will connect to it like this. And in the same time, the text on the list picker will change to connected and the connecting flag will be set to true. Let's say everything works fine now and you are connected to your Bluetooth module and you want to start controlling your LED. First you need to set the on and off button functionality. When the button is clicked, the on flag is inverted. This means when the LED was off, it will turn on and vice versa. Also, if the on flag is true, we'll change the button background color to red and the light intensity to be rounded value of the slider just like this. And if it's the opposite, then the color will be gray and the intensity will be zero, obviously. When it comes to the slider, we will use it to change the intensity variable smoothly from zero to 255. So when the slider position change, and if the on flag is true, we will set the intensity to be the rounded value of the slider, else we just set the intensity to be zero. The most important step at this point is to actually send the intensity values to the Arduino. At each clock tick, we will call the send one byte method from the Bluetooth object and specify that number to be the intensity variable. At this point, the only thing left to do is to compile the app, so let's go ahead and do that right now. When the build is done, you can scan the QR code using your own app from your phone, or you can download the App Inventor companion app we talked about before, and use it to scan the QR code, and then downloading the app and installing it. 
The final step in this project is programming the Arduino board and to receive the control signal from the phone. And then take action based on that. In the initialization area, we declare two variables. The first one is for the LED pin and it have to be a pulse width modulation pin, like pin number 9 for example. Otherwise, this is not gonna work. The second variable is the value of the light intensity. Let's set it to minus 1 for now. In the setup function, we will establish serial communication with a baud rate of 9600 and set the LED pin to be an output pin. Next, in the loop function, while there is data arriving through the serial connection, we read that data and store it in this variable. If the value is greater or equal to zero, we print it and then call the analog write function giving it the LED pin and the LED brightness value. And right after that, we change the value variable back to minus one. And that's it. All we have left to do at this point is to upload the code to our Arduino board. However, be careful, you have first to disconnect the TX and the RX pin of the Bluetooth module so they don't interfere with the upload process and when you finish, connect back the HC05 pins and you are done. So this is it, we finally finished building the LED wireless controller project. All we have to do is to test it. In your smartphone, activate Bluetooth and then pair your device with the HC05 module. When that is done, go straight to the app we created earlier. If you click on the list picker, you will see the list of paired devices. If you don't see the HC05, that means you didn't pair it with your phone, so go back and do it again. If you see the HC05, then click on it and observe the list picker button text change to connected. This means you are connected now and you can use the app to control your LED. So turn your LED on and slowly increase the brightness using the slider. You can replace the LED with the DC motor and the principle is still the same. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section down below. All I have left to do right now is to say goodbye. I'll see you in another video with another idea.